We love the X-Men, and you should too. And today on Know Your Special, we're going to be taking a closer look at the X-Men Evolution episode entitled On Angel's Wings. As we join the episode, New York City is looking great. It's winter time, and there's all kinds of seasonal joy in the air. Kids are singing, couples are laughing, Hitler is a doorman. No, seriously, look at this dude and tell me he's not Hitler. Why is Hitler a doorman? And then we have Warren Worthington, son of rich hotel magnates who has chosen Christmas time to come out to the world as a mutant with wings. This was Angel's first appearance in X-Men Evolution, and the idea of Warren striking out on his own as a crime fighter before becoming an X-Men is taken directly from the comics. Angel manages to save a woman in a wheelchair from an apartment fire, because in the world of superheroes, you ain't nothing until you save people from a big fire. It's at this point here the special gets really interesting because when word of Angel's good deed starts to get around the city, because it's Christmas time, people begin to think he might actually be an honest to God biblical angel. It's a really interesting concept that what people might think of as mutants in this world could possibly be angels in disguise, or as the well read beast so eloquently puts it, there are more things between heaven and earth, Horatio, than are thought of in your philosophy. Now, because it's Christmas time, most of the ex kids are headed home, which means the only two people who can chase down this angel stuff is Cyclops and Rogue, because, well, they have no homes to go home to. This also means the episode can explore the romantic tension between these two. X-Men Evolution built a pretty interesting love triangle between Cyclops, Rogue, and Jean. On Angel's Wings is an episode that asks a lot of questions about faith without being too overly preachy about it. Rogue is a stone-cold cynic through the adventure, but Scott wants to believe in angels if only because he recently reconnected with his long-lost brother, Alex, and he has this feeling inside him that maybe someone was watching over him for all these years. Angel's good guy actions end up getting wrecked when Magneto takes an interest in him. The Master of Magnetism hopes if he can show Warren the dark side of humanity and how quickly they will abandon their newfound savior, he will be more willing to join the Brotherhood. Again, lots of religious parallels going on here. The final battle of the episode even takes place in a church. And when Magneto can't get Angel to join, his team, he thinks it might be easier just to kill him and be done with it. Warren has his own guardian angels in the form of the X-Men who protect him and send Magneto packing. Surprisingly, Warren does not end up choosing to join the X-Men by the end of the episode, and we won't see him again until the series finale of Evolution. The final few shots of the episode show how our heroes spend the holidays. We even get a nice little reminder of how Kitty Pride is Jewish and that Wolverine would rather play pool on Christmas than do, well, do anything else. On Angel's Wing was written by the late, great Boyd Kirkland, a man with an impressive superhero resume, both Marvel and DC. He also just so happened to be a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of the Latter-day Saint, but whom it would seem he was also a man who clashed with his faith on a number of different issues. That's why I feel in some ways this episode was Kirkland using art and superhero iconography to work through his own issues, and I personally think that's really cool. On Angel's Wings is just a great special, for Christmas time or any time for that matter. So, that will just about do it for another installment of Know Your Specials. Be sure to treat yourself to another wonderful Christmas treat from the channel, and I will be back again with another superhero special before you know it.